look, it's Poke Fodder. Sorry, I just really wanted to do that. Shout out to Poke Fodder, by the way. What's going on, YouTube? I'm Chalktopus, and we're back with more Pokemon Duel, and the Grass Gym Cup is still going on, so hopefully we can uh, pull away some Ws here. Get closer to our Gyarados, which we don't have. I almost said Dragon Gym Cup. I don't even know what month it is right now. But as you can see, I um, I mixed up my uh, deck a little bit. I've been running more of a Grass-type, Flying-type thing. I worked in that Tropical Energy because I do have the Zapdos and a bunch of other Grass-type Pokemon. Phantom, by the way, don't sleep on. Phantom is pretty strong, and I'm sure you know this by now because of the ability. It's kind of like a Shuppet. It could pass through other Pokemon. But... We're a couple days into the Gym Cup right now. I'm sure you've discovered that, but I've been running Phantom. It's gotten my win rate up a little bit. Um, I was able to climb above 1,500. I think I'm closer to 1,600 right now. So we're up against Cast, who is running a Bulbasaur, who I took a lot of crap from in the comments section for my, uh, my Copper Drop video on Bulbasaur. Let me just clear things up. I don't hate Bulbasaur. I love Bulbasaur. I just, I like to push buttons of people who picked Bulbasaur. Because I know how sensitive you can get. And I apologize, but... You know I'm getting at here. Bulbasaur's cool. Honestly, Bulbasaur's the OG Pokemon. Because it is number 001. Alright, so we're gonna send out our Phantom, and let's see what's gonna go on here. They do have a Tentacruel, which I haven't seen one in a while. I don't know what kind of deck composition this is, but whatever. Whatever makes them happy. Okay, so who do you want to send out? Probably someone with a gold attack against this, uh... Let's see, what are you running? Antidote's Paralyzed? What the? What is this? Alright, fine, you have no hurdle jump. I'm going to run the train. Okay, so I don't know what the hell is going on here, but... Let's see. They do have a Leafeon, however, who can pass through Grass-type Pokémon, so let's not forget about that. But... That's a lot of status cures. Here's a wheezing. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go here because now they have but one option. They have to attack my Phantom because I have the ability to pass through. I don't know if wheezing's gonna be able to knock me out. So that's gonna put us on a one weight, which is fine, I guess, because we're gonna send out our Grovile this way. Now, if they attack me, I can claim this spot up here. So. Here's what I'm doing. I'm forcing them to make a decision and attack my Phantom because I can win the game, but I'll be able to also claim... Uh, are they disconnecting on us? I could also claim their right entry point. So I'm trying really hard to be a better decision maker because I've come to the realization that when I play and commentate at the same time when I'm recording, my brain doesn't function the right way because I win so many more matches when I'm not recording. When I'm not recording is when I play some of my best matches and I actually climb the ranks. And then I get on and I start talking and I get surrounded three times in a row because I'm so focused on actually providing good commentary. But now I'm trying to be a little of both, trying to balance it out a little bit. So let's see, did they disconnect? We might not see them ever again because uh, the decision we force them to make is just, it's, it's too hard for them. It's too hard for them to bear. Anyway... While we have the time to get to know each other right now, let me know in the comments below. What kind of team are you running? And also, what is your favorite Grass-type Pokemon of all time? Um, you have plenty of time to answer, because I've forced this person to disconnect, because they're pretty salty. Also, we have a tournament upcoming... This is a good time for announcements. We have a tournament upcoming on May... Let's check the calendar. 6th... Oh, here's a fight. I wasn't paying attention. Sludge Bomb, but we're gonna win the game right here. Easy peasy. Some nice Phantom cheese. We have a tournament upcoming on May 6th, the first Saturday of every month. If you'd like to participate in it, it's free to enter. You could win some cool prizes. I'm gonna be giving something away. Last time I gave away some uh, iTunes points or it could be Google Play points. And um, I don't know what it's gonna be, but you can join by entering my Discord channel in the description below. Feel free to do that. You know, even if you don't wanna participate in the tournament, you know, come hang out. It's a pretty cool place, pretty cool community to form there, and honestly, shout out to everyone that hangs out in my Discord every single day. Okay, so that's one win in the books. Let's play another one. I think we have 17 wins, I just saw, so maybe we can, uh, we can get 18 here and uh, claim that Gyarados before this week ends, because if you noticed, they upped the, the energy and they kind of 
whoop, they upped the energy that it costs to play. And they lowered the amount of time that you actually have to play in the Gym Cup. Because it ends on, I think, the 26th, so that's relatively soon. Okay, so what's going on here? I'm seeing another Bulbasaur, Chestnut. I'm seeing a... We get to go first, though, so you know the deal. We're gonna send out... Let's go on the outside. Kind of mix things up. Pokemon Switch, Hurdle Jump, Gold Block. So... Let's see what they want to do here. They do have a Leafeon, so we need to be careful of that, because it can pass through us. But they, they're not running a Phantom, and I think that's a very good... Um, so here's what we're going to do. We They have the ability to kill us, but they also have the ability to land... Probably they have a little less than 50% to lose this matchup, because of uh, Thunder Charge, Roost, and Miss. So, I'm forcing them to attack us once again, and uh, they could soar if they want to. We just need to survive this. Okay, so we're not going to get the cheese here, unfortunately. That's fine, because we can use our Cottony, uh, our Whimsicott, and possibly do the same thing. Because I have a Hurdle Jump. Actually, I have two. We have two Hurdle Jumps. And they use their Pokemon who have has soar already on that side. So it won't be able to catch up to me unless it wants to start heading towards the goal. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to claim this spot over here even if I have to hurdle jump it, which I kind of don't want to do, but they're not going to attack. They can pass through us. Hmm. I could go here and force them to... Uh, he could pass through me. It doesn't matter. So let's hurdle jump and let's just go here and kind of cut off the uh, cut off the, the blood flow over there a little bit, so they have to force their Pokemon out this way. But we're going to have to be a little defensive here. So now their next turn is going to be spent protecting their goal, because it's all they can really do right now. What are they going to do? They're going to use Goal Block. All right, that's not a bad choice, actually. Now... They can pass through our... Uh, let's see, they have a hurdle jump. Let's go here so they can't just hurdle jump and win. I have to force them to move up and then hurdle jump. I guess in retrospect, I probably should have used Zapdos and saved my three move points. That's okay. That's alright. This Cottony is pretty hard to knock out. It's level five. Why do I keep doing that? Whimsicott. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Um... Zapdos would probably be a good counter for that. Yeah, let's do that. In that turn. Still have one hurdle jump. They don't have two, so even if they do want a hurdle jump to the middle of this, I can soar. So I'm in good shape there. Let him do it, to be honest. I still have another runner. We have our Grobile. Okay, see what's happening here. Uh, Grovile might be a good counter for this. However, does, I probably shouldn't move all the way up because if Chestnut does hurdle jump, I can get surrounded by this Whimsicott. I get just sandwiched between these two. We don't want that to happen. I'm trying to make good decisions here. No more bad decisions. However, I can't promise I'm going to win this game. Let's do this. Let's protect our goal a little bit and then maybe... Just maybe, I'll consider soaring with Zapdos. Ooh, that might have been a bad idea, dude. That might have been a bad idea. Because now you kind of have to use this Bulbasaur to get over here, or you have to attack me. Probably not a good idea. No, moving that, uh, moving that, that Leafy on was critical. We're going to go here. Okay, so now I'm protected for a little bit. They can't really surround me because I have two Pokemon to kind of protect my Venusaur. However, I'm in pretty good positioning right now. Let's see, are they going to land that spiky shell and knock us back? No, we're going to dodge it. So we're in a really good position right now to win the game. I honestly just need to survive one more attack. So, I don't know who it's going to be. Uh, 
Mm, I don't know about that. Pro oh, what are you doing? What are you... That's how you win the game. He should have moved here and used and attacked my Greninja because then he would have had Spiky Shell knock me back a couple steps. But are we going to get a forfeit? Yes, we're going to take away another win. Let's pop open a box. See, I'm making better decisions now. So that'll bring us above 1600. So we're not trash anymore. We're just slightly better than trash. Just a little bit. All right, so let's pop this box open. Let's see what we can get here. So it's a two win streak. And remember, I advise you to Dene, Snubble, crap. Now, because they upped the, um, and this is an ongoing debate, but you know, feel free to have your stance. I have mine. Since they upped it to 40, I mean, I don't know if every Gym Cup moving forward is going to be 40 energy and, you know, even less time. It looks like it might only be a week. But open your boxes at two win points, uh, two win streak, because you have a better chance at pulling more figures to get an EX. It really does not pay, and I'll say it over and over again, it doesn't pay to go for an 11 win streak. While, yes, you have a greater chance of getting an EX figure... The amount of time, energy, gems you would have to spend to get there, you could be you could spend that opening more lower win rate boxes and just keep doing it because you it's better to open more boxes. You have more chances. The more chances add up to a higher percentage than going all the way up to an 11 win streak, honestly. But like I said, feel free to do what you want. But uh, not bad, you know, taking away two wins here, getting a little closer to that Gyarados thing. We're at 18 wins total, so going to have to step it up over the next couple days and play some more. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to let me know you enjoyed it. Um, there's going to be more coming. I want to crank out a couple more Grass Gym Cup videos before it ends. Uh, if you're new here, feel free to hit the sub button, subscribe to my channel, it's appreciated. This way you can come back and visit and uh, you have visiting rights to come watch some more of my videos and you don't miss any other great ones coming up. You know, we have some Pokemon Duel stuff coming up and some other great content as well, so make sure you don't miss that. Um, and check out my Discord channel. Like I said, we are going to have a tournament real soon for some fabulous prizes and it's free. You know, cost you nothing. Come take part in it. Um, I encourage you, the more the merrier. So last time um, for the first tournament we had, we actually, we filled up, it was full, which amazes me. So that's awesome. But uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you check me out on Discord, social media, whatever. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.